Hello everyone, my name is Saders and welcome to my home office tour. This room started very differently. It was tan walls, there were no cabinets, no desk, and a textured ceiling. I originally had my office in a different part of the house and when I became a full-time software developer, I decided it was time to kind of invest in my own space. My coworker at the time was helping me brainstorm and asked for a photo of my current setup. It wasn't until then that I realized how messy my world was. I had cables everywhere, screens haphazardly placed, and it was chaotic, especially for someone like myself who enjoys being organized. I decided it was time to get serious. So I opened up SketchUp and I designed this office from scratch. I determined how much wood I would need, went and bought it, cut everything, assembled everything, painted it, finished it, and installed everything that you see here, including the paint, the crown molding, the speakers, TV, the motorized shades, and all the features that you see. You can actually check out the full build video that I have as a different video on my channel. Some of the key features that I'm particularly proud of in this office include a sit-stand desk, the soft close hinges and drawers, a Samsung frame TV, motorized blinds, the Philips Hue lighting, Yamaha speakers, a Kinesis Advantage keyboard, undermount rails for the drawer slides, a printer tray, safe, fridge, and of course plenty of storage. I strategically focused on each of the five senses in this build, so let's go through those one by one. First, the sense of touch. I wanted the office to be ergonomically correct, so I took careful measurements of what my ideal desk height and sitting height would be and designed the desk around that. The desk is built around a sit-stand frame, so I can take advantage of those features as well. Finally, I finished the desk with several coats of polyurethane to give it that glossy, smooth touch. For the sense of sight, I invested in an Apple Studio display, which is awesome. The images and text are super crisp and high resolution. The wall color is Slate by Benjamin Moore. As soon as I saw it for the first time, I fell in love and knew that that would be my color. The Philips Hue lighting automatically changes color temperature depending on the time of the day, from a cool temperature at the start to a warm temperature in the evening and automatically dimming to match the proper time of day. The motorized window shades automatically open and close depending on the local sunrise and sunset times as well. I also adhered to a zero cable policy. I didn't want to see any cables or really as few cables as possible in the final product. As a result, I uh, ended up routing out uh, cable channels on the underside of the desk so that everything could have a place to go and be tucked away out of sight. As a professional audio engineer, the sense of hearing is also very important to me. And so in my office, I have the Yamaha 8-inch studio monitors installed as well as the subwoofer. And that gives a nice high fidelity sound to the music that I play throughout the day. The sense of smell is enhanced by the use of a diffuser and some essential oils, ranging from a calm lavender to potentially a more woodsy type of smell and everything in between, depending on the mood that I have for the day. I didn't have this in my last office and actually having a purposeful scent in the room can really have a dramatic effect on the environment. Finally, for the sense of taste, I have a mini fridge with some drinks as well as a whiskey collection within arm's reach for a nice evening pour. I've been working in this space for about a year and a half now and I absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments below what you enjoyed or what you would have done differently. Again, if you'd like to see that build process from start to finish, you can check that out as the next video.